So if you could see in this room right now, you would be shocked at how much junk I have. I swear, I'm going to take a picture and put it on the community tab or something. I have makeup, hair care, skin care, nails, all of it just spread all over. And I'm trying to get these two videos out for you guys. Hi, YouTube family. We're talking about skin, hair, and nail care, the best of 2019 today. I'm going to step through these very quickly. I'm gonna go through nails first, then I'm gonna go through hair and then skin. My silly camera does not wanna cooperate with me either today. So all kinds of things going on here. But we're gonna get into the best of nail, hair, and skincare right now. Now, as far as nail care goes, there is only one brand of nail polish that I actually love and I stick to, and that is Zoya. If you guys have never tried Zoya, I absolutely love that they have 400 plus colors of nail polish. Yes, they did say 400 plus colors. I also love that they don't seem to chip on me like other nail polishes do. I use a base coat and a top coat. I'm not gonna mention the base coat because it's one that's been discontinued. We'll mention the top coat in a second here, but let me just tell you some of my favorite colors. So this one is Leah and it looks white in the bottle, but this has like a little bit of pink glitter in it and it can transform just about any nail polish you have into something luminescent and gorgeous. And I almost wear this almost every single time I'm doing nails, I almost wear this. And then this next one is Alicia. This is a silver with just a tiny bit of blue cast in there. And again, this is glitter. And most of these are glitter, you guys. I am a, the glitter queen as far as nail polishes go. This one is Blaze. I recently got this. It's kind of a deepened reddish berry with a little bit of glitter in there. And then this one right here is Aurora. Yes, it's Aurora. And it is a true purple with the glitter in there. And I believe the glitter is more on the silver side in that one. I also have Leslie. It is a purple with a little bit of iridescence in there as well. This one you have to build up and use about three or four coats to get it to be that color. It's really pretty as a topper as well. And then this one is actually just a cream and this is Rumor and it's kind of a dusty pink there. And then the last one that I absolutely absolutely love is Key, K-I, and this one is a purple metallic multi, it's not a metallic, it's a purple multi-chrome. And so you have the purple in there, but as you turn it, you can see the greens and the blues in there. This one is so pretty, but it will cast a very green look on you when you use it. So today on my nails, I actually have very drugstore brands for you guys. So this color right here, that is the base coat on where, of what I'm wearing is called Jam Session or Sesh. And this is the Sally Hansen Extreme Nails, Hard as Nails, Extreme Wear. And then the other one is a, a Walmart brand as well. This is called Frost Love. This is from Pure Ice. And that's the topper that I have. So those two together make this really pretty kind of I don't know, kind of an iridescent look on the purple. And then what I use as a top coat all the time is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. I am so impatient about my fingernails drying and it just, it's one of those things. I have to have an instant dry top coat and I love it. And then as far as nail treatments go, there's only one that I use and it's the organic hemp seed oil. And I put this on my cuticles each night as a part of my skincare routine. It's the last thing I do before I go to sleep and I put it on my cuticles and I rub it and it really does help them grow. My fingernails and my hair are going through a very tough time right now because of the weight that I've lost, but they're starting to recover and I really believe that this organic hemp seed oil is one of the reasons that that's really getting stronger and it's really helping them a lot. And you just put a couple drops on each cuticle and rub them every night. And what that's gonna do is bring the blood up there, blood supply to anywhere, your hair, your nails, anywhere is going to promote growth. So that's why I love those. Okay, let's step over into hair care. I, as you guys know, had lost the weight. And when you have weight loss, it doesn't matter what you do, you will lose some hair because it's just one of the things that the body does not consider as important as taking care of your internal organs and making sure those are okay, which is a good thing. But it's a tough thing to watch all your hair come out in clumps. 
And so what I do is several different things to try and stimulate the scalp. I do take a hair, skin, and nails formula, which I will list below. And I also do take a collagen formula, which I will list below. I've mentioned those in several videos and I will go ahead and link those below. They really do help my hair grow faster and longer and keep the health of it really good from the root all the way out. So this one though is a stimulating shampoo that I found from Revita. So I do use a purple toning shampoo and a regular shampoo first because this says to do this twice and the reason is is to get all the buildup and hairspray and you know uh, dry shampoo whatever you have in your hair that really needs to be taken off so that this can touch the scalp and the actual follicles of the hair and so and then you go in and then I go in with this and it is lovely lovely formula as far as being able to suds it up and really massage it into your hair and it says that you're supposed to leave it on for five minutes which I do but I like to take take about two of those minutes, three of those minutes, and I am really massaging my hair because again, massage helps to stimulate blood circulation, which always helps cellular turnover, cellular growth, all those kinds of good things. Make sure that I do cleanse my scalp before I use it so that I can get the full effect of this being the hair stimulating or the growth stimulating. Also, as far as growth stimulating, every single night without fail, I use my extra strength minoxidil. This one is from Kirkland. I talked about this over and over again and you just fill it up put the droplets down there on your scalp and then give your scalp a good massage. Now I will tell you that if you don't wash your hair like every other day, then this will make your hair greasy at some point. What I, I usually do with it is I usually try to use it the morning before I shampoo. Let it set on about an hour if I have that kind of time, then use the you know shampoo, go through everything. Skip that night because I've used the growth stimulating shampoo. And then the following night I will use this and I get up and wash my hair again. And I always notice when I'm using the minoxidil that I always have baby hairs that are growing in and little, you know, hairs that are about this long starting when I go through a big shed like I just have. And I've really noticed that that is happening on this side of my hair and I love that that is happening. So this is something that I've been using for almost two years now. I will not be without it. Yes, you do have to continue to use it or you will lose the hair that has it has helped grow. But it's not a big deal to me because it's not super expensive and this will last me, one of these will last me about a couple months and then I go on to another one and I get them in a three pack. This little doohickey right here I got recently as an Amazon find or an Amazon haul. And this is like a scalp stimulating silicone brush which I really do like. So on those nights that I'm not using the minoxidil like I don't wanna have greasy hair the next morning, I'll go ahead and I'll still stimulate my scalp with this. It's a really great way to do do that. It is a little bit more stiff. So it's one of those ones that you will feel like you might be scraping your head too much. Don't do that. Just kind of, you know, massage with but it. But it's a great little handheld tool that, that I really love and I use almost every night. And this is the year that I really discovered Lin Lange, I guess that's how you say it, Lange or something like that. Anyway, this is their dry shampoo. Love this product. You guys know what dry shampoo is for. And then this is the Thicket Cream and I feel like this has made the biggest difference for me as far as helping me to build up and feel like I have thick hair after every wash. The Thicket Cream, I use a very tiny amount. I'm talking maybe a dime size amount, maybe less. You know, work it in between my hands really quickly and then just just spread it all through my hair, the length of my hair. I don't want to get this too close to the roots because it will have a tendency to weigh that down up there, but everywhere else it just builds great body. Also and from them I have a root booster. So on the days when I really want my hair to look extra special, I spray this in there and and just, you know, go about drying my hair afterwards and it gives a ton of volume too. These are really good products that I would recommend to anybody. They have been ones that I have thoroughly enjoyed using throughout this whole year. I'm gonna talk about a couple of my tried and trues, which is the thermal styling spray from Kenra. This is number 19. 
This helps um, keep your style in because you use it on dry hair, but it also gives a thermal protectant as you're doing that. So I will spray it all over my hair, then brush my hair out, then go ahead and use it. And I know that it's working because it helps keep my curl in, especially if you're doing more curly days instead of just straight days. And then also from Kenra, I, I love their blow dry spray. This has been such a good product for me for shine. And again, for the help, the help with the thermal protectant and anytime you're using any sort of heat on your hair, even if you're using a blow dryer on a warm setting, you want to have a thermal protectant. This one helps, but I love how good it makes my, how much shine it gives my hair, I'm sorry. I just spray one spray across my hand, rub my hands together and I'll put it all over and then go ahead and dry my hair and wow, it just gives a beautiful shine to your hair. Also, it's a 10 is another leave-in treatment. I really protect my hair, you guys, I really do. Because I feel like, you know, when as you get older, your hair changes changes. You just have a lot of those needs that you might not have when you were younger. Um, but yes, I do use this every single time. This is the first product that I'll go in with. I'll comb my hair through. Then I'll go in with the Thicket product from La Ange. And then I'll go in with the blow dry spray, the thermal one. And then I will, after my hair's dry, use this one. So really do love those. And then also I cannot have a hair care video without mentioning these two. I've mentioned this so many times through the year because this was a find for me this year. This is from OGX, it's the Botifying Bent Botifying Bamboo Fiber Full Big Hair Spray. This is so good and I've been using it in place of my tried and true love of all time, which is the Kenra Volume Spray 25. I've used this for years and years and years, but now that I've found this and it's a little bit cheaper, if I'm just wanting a daily look where I'm not, you know, doing anything too, too special, I'll use this. I would say as far as hold, they're very, very comparable you know, very good hold, hold you all day. This one right here it, uh, from Kenra does a little bit better in the humidity, but they both have really the same properties. And the thing is, is that if you like a very soft hairspray, you might not like either one of those because these are mega hold hairsprays. They don't make your hair super crunchy, but you will know that you have hairspray in your hair, just so you guys know. I'm gonna start out the skincare with my wash rags. And the reason is, is because I adore these things. These things are wash rags that I will not be without as far as my facial wash rags. These are microfiber cloths. They come in that package of five. They take off all of your makeup. So even though most of us have the feeling that we need to do a double cleanse, I can actually do a single cleanse, rinse this out, and go back over my face and get the rest of the makeup off without using any more product. And you will love it. So definitely wanted to start off my skincare part with that. And then when we're talking about taking off our makeup, I have this big daddy of Purity Made Simple. It's one of my very favorite cleansers. I buy it like this because I can almost use this for like a whole year or longer and it just, it never runs out for me. And I use it morning and night and I absolutely love this stuff. I feel like it takes off all of my makeup but I don't feel like my skin is stripped. It's such a nice clean product and I, I was wanting to tell you on all those hair care whether they smelled or not. This one smells kind of like a little bit citrusy. Not a, a majorly over fragranced item, but it does have that little tiny bit of citrus smell in it. So, you know, most of those hair care products will have fragrance in it. Hair care is one that people put a lot of fragrance in it. So unless it says fragrance free, most of those hair care items will have that in there. And then this one is my tried and true take off every drop of your waterproof mascara. This is from Hylamide and this is their high efficiency face, clean, face cleanser. I don't use it for my face. I find that it's a little bit too oily to use on my face. And since I don't do a double cleanse with those wash rags, I just use this on my eyes to really start the process of getting all of that waterproof um, eye makeup off. It just, you will not believe how quickly your makeup comes off between this and the rags. It's just, it's great. So I enjoy a chemical exfoliant and I enjoy physical exfoliants. And I know that there is arguments on both sides of that, which one's better, which one isn't, that kind of thing. But I use both of them. So my chemical exfoliant that I've been using all year is the glycolic acid 7% toning solution. 
I love this stuff, you guys. It's very inexpensive. It's got a really great pH that sits on your skin and does exactly what it's supposed to. And it just sloughs off the dead skin very gently without feeling like your face is being ripped off by something. So I really do like it and I would recommend it because it has really kept, kept my face glowing and pretty all year. And then my chemical one, I was using the Olay two-step microdermabrasion kit that had, I think it was black and red. This one is their vitamin C one. I believe that they have discontinued the other one. But this is an AH peel activator and then this is the mask, the vitamin C mask. So this has granules in it. And this does have a very slight like orange juice smell. It's not overwhelming to me, but it's in there. And I want you guys to know that. It is a very granular product grainy product. So you're not going to want to rub it on your skin. You're just going to kind of want to coat your skin. And then when you put the AH peel part on of the mask, then you're going to get a foaming action and it's going to warm up a little bit and it's going to take all those granules and it's going to kind of dissolve them and you get that whole mask situation where you're taking off all the dead skin. I love this two-step program. And these will actually last me for about four to six months because I don't do this all the time. I maybe do this once a week. So love that product. From The Ordinary is the Buffet Serum that I have been using for years. I love this. It has lots of peptides in it. It has matrixyl serum in it. It has lots of things in it that are really, really good for your skin. And I just find that every time I venture out into something else, I come right back to the buffet because I just feel like it's a really good formula. It's one that I've been recommending for a very long time. And then in the morning as kind of a two-step product or kind of layering on top of each other, I've been using the Hada Labo kind of lightening essence. And then I'll use the Sukiyaka Suhada Urea Moisture Lotion. Both of these are very watery products. You can't see that in here. Both of them are very watery product, but you know what? I use this as my moisturizer every morning under makeup because it is so light, but it is so moisturizing and it doesn't interfere with any of the makeup that I put on. It actually makes everything just lay down so pretty because there's hyper hydration in there without having a actual layer of cream. So I absolutely love that in the morning as my last step. This is the year of my lashes I feel like 2019 was because my lashes were the thing that I was able to just maintain and they were going just gangbusters. And it's because of this serum right here. It's called X Lash. I was sent it originally. I have since repurchased this three times in the big tube. They sent me the smaller one. I will make sure that I link those prices below and the amount but you use this once a night. You don't have to worry about it in the morning and it has made a gargantuan difference in my eyelashes. I mean, honestly, you guys, I couldn't ask for anything better. People ask me if I'm wearing falsies and I don't. I could not do a falsie with my hands and the palsy that's in there if I wanted to. So this has just been a lifesaver for me in making my lashes very long, very thick. They grow and they're just... They're wonderful. And I do want to say this. I say this every time I mention this serum, you will not see results for the first about four weeks. And then after that, you're going to start to see results and you're going to go, I like this stuff. And you're going to go, I got lashes and you're just going to love it. You guys, it's really a beautiful product. My Retin-A, this is my tube that I'm going through. This is the 0 0.05. When I was down in Mexico, I actually did pick up quite a few of these. So I use this every other night, sometimes every night on places that I have super wrinkles like my forehead and my neck. So this is something that I'm never going to be without. I absolutely love it. You can get this in the States without a prescription at, from out of the country mail in and that's where I normally have gotten it but I will make sure I link that below for you guys so you know that and I do have several videos on this if you guys would like an updated retin-a video from me then I'll definitely do that but I just this is a miracle worker for me it has changed my skin so much as far as texture and taking care of some of the fine lines absolutely has changed as far as the dark spots. I can't believe how much my dark spot, my dark spots have faded to where I just have a few that I really target with this. But wow, you guys, Retin-A is something that I feel like has been a total game changer in my skincare in the almost four years that I've been using it. I do want to mention, this is from Thank You Farmer, and this is the Miracle Age Repair Toner. 
I love this. It is also a very brightening serum. Um, it's not a toner. It's more of a lotion type. So when you guys get it, just so you know, it is thick. It does work in very quickly and sink in very quickly to the skin. You guys, it does have quite a strong fragrance. Again, I want to mention that to you because I know I have had some people get this and then be disappointed because it did have the fragrance in it. But this is an anti-aging um, toner and the brightening toner. So I've, I've almost used this whole bottle up and I've just noticed kind of more along the lines of it brightening than anything. As far as anti-aging, I think that things have gotten so much better as far as using these stacked on each other type things where I use different things at different nights. So I won't always use each serum or each toner every single night. I tend to stick to the same thing in the mornings, but this one is one that I kind of alternate through. I know that you guys are gonna ask me about a vitamin C product. I have been using the Pixie Skin Treats Vitamin C Tonic. I really, really like this. It's something that sinks into the skin. It doesn't seem to create extra layers on my mature skin. And even though I love this one, you guys, I'm going to be trying some other vitamin Cs here really quickly. And again, you guys, this has the little bit of the orange smell or the citrus smell to it. So I wanna make sure I tell you about that too. But I do feel like this is a really good vitamin C product for the price. It's only like $15 for this. All right guys, coming to the home stretch is my Suki Akasuhara Urea Eye Cream. This is not one that I will ever negotiate with in my skincare. If you've watched me for very long, this has been in my skincare routine for two years because I have very dry, very crepey under eyes and this urea cream is so moisturizing. Now, when I say urea, I'm gonna have a few of you say, isn't urea by a byproduct of urine? Yes, it is. However, this urea is manufactured in a lab and made to mimic that, but it's definitely a synthetic product. It's not a natural urea product. But the hydration on this, also there is a little tiny bit of a factor of exfoliating. And the fact that you can put this up underneath your eyes and on top of your eyes and it have that tiny bit of exfoliating where you're getting a little bit of cellular turnover to me is fantastic. I might mention another eye serum here in there, but I never ever mention another eye cream because I simply don't need to. This is just the one that works the best. And you guys, I don't have fillers. I don't have anything like that. So the fact that I have these really, really big lines right here and that it affects my um, concealer under here and that I get lines under there and this can help with that is to me nothing short of a small triumph in my day. So I will continue to use that. The other urea product that I'm going to mention to you is the actual cream. This one, I feel like after I get all of my skincare done at night and everything's hyper moisturized and it feels so good and I live in a super dry climate with dry heat coming from the ceiling, this one, I feel like I can put it on very, very small amount. This, a little tiny bit of this goes a long ways very small amount and it locks in all that moisture for the whole entire night. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is sunscreen. What I love is the Misha sunscreen that I have and this is their milk essence or something like that. Super light, super airy. I'm almost out of this. I need to order another one, but you guys, it is so, so light. Sinks into the skin like a dream. And I think part of that is because it does have some alcohol in it, you guys. But you know how sometimes when you put your makeup on and you have sunscreen on and your sunscreen will mess with your makeup because it's just a little bit too oily, you don't get any of that with this. And I don't find that it dries me out. I know that it does have the alcohol in it, but it doesn't have a tendency to dry me out. So I would very much recommend this. I use it all over my face, neck and chest every single day. Love this stuff. Now for my hands and my arms when they're exposed, I go in with this one and this is the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy. And I should have told you that this is a 50 SPF. And so is this one from the Australian Gold. It's a 50 SPF. By the way, that Misha sunscreen, it doesn't have any smell that I can really tell on it too bad. This one is tinted and it has a thicker consistency to it. But I like that because the back of my hands get really dry and plus I have a little bit of, you know, 
age spots and whatnot on there and it just kind of evens them out a little bit. I know I wash my hands and it's going to come off, but I do enjoy having this. It's very moisturizing and I really like it. I don't like it for my, my face again because it is a little bit too oily for me and it just seems to be one of those products that I go... Do I really want to put this on my face and have it disturb my makeup? Well, no. So I reach for the Misha instead of this one. But yes, those are my two sunscreens for face and arms and hands. I hope that you guys have been enjoying these videos where I bring you the best of 2019. Some of these products in here are products that I did discover, but most of them I'm not going to share new products with you just for sharing new products because if I found something like the Urea products that have worked fantastic for me, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And um, that is really how I feel about all of these things. Don't That's forget to share with me some of your hair, skin, and nail favorites. I always love hearing products from you guys. If there was something that just stands out to you that you can't be without, that makes me happy to go and be able to try that. So please tell me those as well. Thank you guys so much for spending a part of your day with me. Hope everyone is happy and healthy. I love you so much, and I will catch you all in my very next video. Bye-bye, you guys.